Hi everyone, Sarah again. These days, everyone has to stay home. I hope everyone is okay. You still enjoy your life. I think we can study or you can learn something new to have time right now. That's why I actually uh, start taking my video to improve my skills as well. For me, I am thinking what I can do after the virus is gone. Then one of the things I believe that many foreigners also came to Japan or come to Japan for the trip. I believe Japan is a gr great place to visit for foreigners. Even if we have still many rules, but if you have any chance to go to Japan for your trip, I just listed up what you can be careful for trip to Japan. So today I want to introduce six points to be careful when you have any trip to Japan. Number one, please be quiet on um, public transportations. It's like uh, taxi is fine, but uh, if you have any chance to get the subways, buses, trains, it's called a JR, please try to be quiet. You can find out everyone try to be quiet and then the trains, transportation itself is really, really quiet. No call. You can still talk to your friends, but uh, please make your voice smaller. Otherwise, uh, I don't think Japanese would give you some comments, but uh, we were like, oh, okay, it's foreigners, so something like this. So you can try to be quiet. Second, it's also related to the transport things. But uh, it's better for you to avoid the rush hour. Normally, we do have rush hour in the morning time and evening time. Morning time, I would say it's going to be from 7 to 10-ish. Then in the evening time, going to be um, 5 to 8. I would say that. You can still try, but you will be so surprised with Japanese rush hour. It's totally different from other countries. For example, the subway in Tokyo, we have some specific stuff to push the people to get into the train. So even for me, I was in Japan and then I tried to change the station and then I found so many people uh, line up I thought there were some accident or some problems because it was long was so long and then I asked the staff there what, what, what is happening and then he answered me that oh it is quite normal <laughs> during this hour so if possible please avoid the rush hour when you are in the Japan number three so please try not to cancel anything you booked already. Of course, this is depends on where you place the booking, but especially if you place the booking for fancy restaurant or some experienced stuff, please do not cancel with easy thinking. The cancellation is the one of the things the Japanese really hate because Normally, we spend a lot of time and energy to prepare the things for you to serve you the best things ever. So what we will do is once we get the bookings from you, we already start to prepare for your service. If this is a fancy restaurant, they start to buy the things, ingredients they prepare. So if you cancel even on that day, it's all gone. Like all of their their efforts will be gone. That's why the Japanese don't want to get any cancellations. And normally those kind of places like fancy restaurant, they have cancellation policy that once you confirm, you have to pay 100%. Please don't negotiate that 
like not to pay. Okay, when you place the booking, you have to read carefully the TNC's terms and conditions, and then after you totally agree, then you can book. So please don't do it. Okay, book first. I will think about if I really go or not. Please don't do that in Japan. Otherwise, they will never accept your new booking anymore. Four, it is quite hard to find the trash cans in, on a public place. <laughs> for example, in Hong Kong, in other countries, it's really easy. Like every, let's say, 10 meters or 100 meters, we have the trash can. So you can throw away anywhere. But in Japan, normally on the public place or road, we don't have any trash can. So you, can, you have to keep for yourself. So if possible, you can bring your plastic bags to keep your trash Wi-Fi. If possible, please rent a Wi-Fi at the airport. Cafes, for example, like Starbucks, some public cafe, normally they do have this uh, Wi-Fi, but on a public road, normally they don't have any free Wi-Fi. So maybe you're gonna be some problem if you get lost on a public place. So it's better to have a Wi-Fi or maybe SIM card for prepaid SIM card will help you. Last things, number six. Yo, know, I would do this in Japanese way. Number six. So change amendment can be a bit difficult in Japan. It's also related to the cancellations, but uh, for example, in a restaurant tours, if you book a specific time, sometimes you may not be able to change. I think it's gonna be happen for restaurant bookings normally. So you change your mind, you want to change the time, but um, a fancy restaurant, normally they have some slots or they like the same as cancellations, they already prepare to the time you book. So even if you ask, a Japanese cannot change. As our custom, we try to follow our uh, planned itinerary. So sometimes change is not acceptable. In case the things you have to do is cancel with 100% charge or you follow the, your original plan. Of course, it really depends on how level you book, what kind of tours you book. So I strongly recommend that you have to be carefully read terms and conditions when you place the booking. If TNC is like clearly mentioned, you have to follow. But uh, if you have really problem, any emergency case, of course you can negotiate, but please talk to them very nice way. Like, I'm really sorry, you can mention, I do understand terms and conditions, but da 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 da, like, can you help because of this reason? If you talk to them in this way, and then your reason is the reasonable, Japanese is really happy to help you as much as possible. But if you say, uh, sorry, I want to cancel, but I don't want to pay, or, oh, I change. Why you cannot change? If you talk to them in that way, they just will not give you, Japanese will not give you any flexibility. They will not help you. So you can just try to be the nice person if you have any things to talk to them. So this is the six, six things I can recommend to be careful. Of course, you can ignore all the things, but uh, I think this kind of the six advice will help you to make your trip more comfortable and happier. So I hope this video can help you as well. Thank you for watching. Bye.